everybody, it is I, Mr. Charlie Murray, and welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic, Rise of the Hutt Cartel, Jedi Consular, Season 2, Episode 39, I think, I think it's Episode 39, so, this will be the last episode of Rise of the Hutt Cartel, yeah, I don't know what I was trying to say there, Rise of the Hutt Cartel, yes, and then the next episode will be the start of Shadow of Revan. I know, right? Shadow, Strander's finally doing Shadow of Revan. My God, Strander, what's taking you so long? I said he'd been controlling you and not been doing episodes of you in a, a steady pace. God, I hate that person. Anyway, uh, last time we struck a deal with the Huts, uh, and now we need to go and face Toboro to try and get the Isotope Five because people can't evacuate from the planet until we got Isotope Five for the Ark. Oh God. Why, tomorrow? Why have you got to be such a dick? What is a side mission that I could do along the way? Probably. What's the side mission here? Um, tomorrow is best. Defeat tomorrow regulators. Eh, I could probably do that along the way. Because it probably is. Is, is it the exact same building? Oh no, it's around here. Oh! inside out, yet the despot's palace survives. I still believe there's justice in the galaxy, Jedi. Well, I don't know. It, do, do, do you still think there's justice in the galaxy? I, I guess not. Um, yeah, maybe I will just do this along the way because, well, it's free experience and it'll get me up to level 57. Also, have they nerfed uh, the Shadow Revan flashpoints yet? Or will I still get, like, by doing um, Assault on Tython, I'll get, like, half the experience for into level uh, 57? Well, it wouldn't be Assault on Tython first, would it? Yes, it would. It would be Assault on Tython first. Yes. Duh. Um, because I'm Republic, so yeah. It'd be interesting to see what Shadow Rev is like on the Republic side. I know it's almost exactly the same, but it'll be the small differences. You know, just the small differences. But well, spoil anything if you're playing this, if you're watching this, sorry, uh, and never experienced Shadow of Revan, you're in for a treat. There's a reason why it's called Shadow of Revan. Yeah. Well, I guess why? No? Uh, Alright, uh, uh, okay. There must be a weakness. Yes, again, I've told you this. It is death. And anyway, anyway, Theron, they're not exactly boss battles. You're not exactly being like, hmm, well, maybe I have to point my gun and shoot it into his ass crack. That's his weakness! Alrighty, just five more I need to kill, and I'm practically nearly there anyway. I wonder if I can just skip these enemies and then kill those enemies, and then I'll pretty much have done the mission! Uh, oh no. Oh, damn it, they've seen me. Oh well, guess I've got to kill the droid as well. Mission done! How lovely! And now to get you down. But you'll be easy, because you're only level 54, and I'm level 56. I imagine McKeb scale was your level down as well, surely. Yeah, because I think every planet must do that. Anyway, uh, yeah, because I remember going on Kranatoka sometimes and it's actually done it. Right, stealth time, and we will just stealth the rest of the way there. Unless this uh, droid sees me. Oh, level 57! Yay! What have we got? We've got a new utility point. Don't see me, droid. Don't see me. I better make sure I know where I'm going. Where am I going? Um, right, I'm in a safe place. Right, what should we go for? Um... Well, probably something in Heroic now. Um, but you know me. I don't know my abilities for crap. Um, what more abilities do I use? Is there anything involving Woe and Blow, Clairvoyant Strike, and Spinning Strike? Let's see. Well, this has nothing to do with any of my damage abilities. But hey, Motion Control, I'm going for it. Because I gain a 50% speed boost. Hell yeah! Where am I going? I have no idea. I think I'm going the wrong way. Am I going the wrong way? Um, yes I am! Oh, I'm in Tabora's courtyard. Ah, oh, who would have guessed? No, oh, I didn't know that. Um, I need to go... Oh, I need to go around? Do I? Oh. Okay then. Oh, I need to gain 50% when I use Force Cloak, not Main Stealth. Oh, right. Fine. Force Cloak! Woo! 50% speed burst! And it only lasts for how long? I don't know. Probably not long. Knock, 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 Tabaro! I'm here! That sounds creepy. But yeah, if, if I've gone for the wrong ability, you just decide which one I go for, because you guys take control of everything in my life, it seems. Um, right. Um, 
There's some um, sub tough lurkers. No doubt these will be bonus missions. So uh, let's give it a shot. Clearly you haven't heard of us. Oh no, but there's a beast story that I don't have. Alrighty. That is one big jinx. Well, bye bye jinx. Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. They've seen me! I need one of those staples buttons. Which I can press and it just says, that was easy. Stealth again. Bloody hell. Seriously, how big are these jinxes? They are absolutely massive. Quite terrifying. I think it is even bigger than me. Ah, no, don't see me. God, that was terrifying the way it looked at me. No! On the plus side, there's just two more towards that jinx achievement. Remember a long time ago when I was on my Sith Warrior and I saw like a jinx achievement? I don't know if any of you remember that far back. And I was all like, ooh, I could do the Jinx achievement, and I never sort of did it. How far into that am I now? I need to find McKeb. Where is McKeb? McKeb, there you are. Uh, it would be under... Um, 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 Beasts? Uh, well, that's Macrin. That's a Jinx one. There it is. 66 out of 100, or 66 out of 250. I am so close. So close. La 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 Ew, this water's icky. Surely they would see me, they would see the ripples on the water and think, hmm, what is that? Ooh, a phase, there we go. And inside we go. Um Right. We're in Taboro's secret entrance. Is Taboro here? I dunno. Well there's no elevator, so I guess this must be the final area. I guess? I dunno. Your hidden entrance appears to be unguarded, Doctor. Of course. Tomorrow doesn't even know it exists. He has no eye for such exquisite detail. He is also despairingly predictable, and almost certainly ranting away in his throne room while clutching the fuel rods to his bosom. I am transmitting procedures to defeat the security protocols separating you from Tomorrow. Follow them precisely. I'll be unable to reach you via hollow after this. What if we need more information from you? If you use my instructions, you won't. The palace employs transmission dampers to prevent unauthorized transmissions. You'll be on your own, I'm afraid. A last word of advice. Tomorrow asked for some rather unorthodox droid designs. It's possible he actually built a few. If so, good luck with them. I can handle anything. Release the imprisoned security chief. Um, oh, there is another... Ah! It's a secret elevator! Who would have guessed? They probably explained that in the last episode, but it's been like two weeks since the last episode, so I don't know. Ooh, somebody who's in... to borrow sense of decor went the way of his sanity. I mean, it's pretty. I mean, look, look at this. This is like... I don't know. You know that book with the, the scaly goldfish? Looks like that. Anyone remember that book? Oh, that book was amazing when I was a kid. Is this what you mean by defense, droid? Well, excuse me, I'm just walking right past it and it can't even see me. <laughs> this is so easy, they don't even see me. Ah, here we go. Uh, carbonite prison. Can't do that while moving. I'm not moving. Obtain the security chief's access card. Um. Oh, I've got to wait for him to thaw out. Oh, okay. I was thinking, where is he then? He's right there. And he's thrown out. Oh, he's, I've got to kill him. Oh, okay. Fine. Um, heroic moment, you, because why not? You know, you would have thought with the orbital strike, Tabaro would be seeing that, because it'd be crashing through his um his building, and he would, you know, kind of um, notice that's happening, and somebody would tell him. But no, no. Swotor logic. I love it when you can use rocket boots when you're uh, in stealth as well. It is rocket boost. Rocket boosts! Ah, oh, I'm always getting it mixed up. It's Rocket Boost, Charlie. Boost! Boost! Ooh, that's that's like a... Looks like the face of a creepy duck. Or... No! No, 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 no. That looks like the face of a chihuahua. An angry chihuahua. Am I the only one that thinks that? I have a strange mind. You know this already. Um, right. Hello. Hi. No? Not this room? Next room. Okay. Ah, I gotta kill tomorrow's... Canonia. Is that how you say it? Canonia? Probably. Clearly you haven't heard of us. You push me back. How dare you push me back? I'm trying to use my clairvoyant strike. 
Well, I was actually trying to use my whirling flare, but now I use my clairvoyant strike on you. Because that's the ability everybody's saying to me that I should only be using. Right, let's use the terminal. It's going to take five seconds to use it. Seriously? Actually, um, I don't want this this thing to get in the cutscene because I'm worried it might do. Because there have been glitches in the past where that's happened. So, you know. Oh, wait, that was a bonus mission? Oh, I had no idea. Uh, access security mainframe. Are you seriously just having me go from A to B? What? Oh, seriously. And use this terminal, which won't take five seconds this time. And enter to Borrow's throne room. Here we go. Welcome to your doom, vermin. Have no illusions about your fate. I plan for every contingency. You are no match my unsurpassed brilliance. What fools you are, fighting for a planet that isn't even part of your pitiful republic. For, your str for all your struggles, you will gain nothing. This world became part of the republic the moment we landed here. You're the one wasting time to borrow. Idiot, I am the one, only one who will ever benefit from this planet's bounty. Isotope 5 will make you more powerful than the architects. You are nothing but dirty little thieves. Come to seal it with what is rightfully mine. You will never have it. I hope you've enjoyed your reign over the cartel, because it's ending right now. Any last words, Hut? I will have the final say. Not you. Behold my ultimate Isotope 5 droid! I call it to Borrow's Glittering Fury! Oh, God! No! You want your precious fuel rods? Take them from my Guardian, if you can! Oh, no! Oh, no! No, no! How big is this room? Big enough to do stuff in? Oh, no! Because if you remember, on the Sith Warrior playthrough, there was a droid that looked exactly like this, which was horrible to defeat. Horrible to defeat. And I'm worried I'm going to have to do it again. Oh, no! See? You die instantly like that if you don't know what you're doing. And I didn't know what I was doing, so... <sighs> Let's try again! Let's see if I can figure out what went wrong. I know it was like a beam that he charged up and kind of hit me with, but... Did I need to get out of the way? I don't know. Right. This is going to be a fun boss battle. Nearly a scratch. Yes! Sorry, I was having a drink there. Yes, Farron, because a laser beam to the face is just merely a scratch. But, you know, you are the doctor. You know best. I wonder if I can go from behind. I wonder if the droid will see me and I can sort of attack it from behind. That'd be pretty cool. Ooh, I could. How about that? Right, I am actually getting out of whatever these beams are. Well, Theron's been knocked back. <laughs> right. Poor Theron. Poor, poor Theron. Oh, and he's the one taking the aggro as well. How did he not instantaneously die from that either? I will never know. Ah! Ow, 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 ow. Getting out of those. Um, but Theron, you're doing a good job because he's nearly down anyway, so, you know. Well done, Theron. Well done. Get out of that, get out of that, get out of that. Ow! Come on, he's nearly dead. Get out of that. And... And... He's down! That was actually easier than I thought it was going to be. Ooh! I took five fuel rods! Mind how you go. If we drop them, the arc's not going anywhere. Well... Play I did that. Ooh, I can do this now. Do I get gold? Because it's very, very gold. Terradium and Mithra. Not Mothra. No! This is not right! You were supposed to die! If I can't have my Isotope 5, no one can! Prepare to face the void with me, you thieving filth! A single drop of Isotope 5 could level this palace. I just set fire to a whole lake of it! Prepare for flaming death! Eh... Uh. I don't know. I'm I'm torn between which one. Um, 
I'm sorry, I can't you save you. There's no chance to get you out of here alive tomorrow. Goodbye. <laughs> You'll never make it. You already got five canisters. What do you need a sixth one for? Okay then. Well, um, I I remember that cutscene from the Rise of the Hut Cartel trailers to be a bit more um, epic, but instead it was just like a oh, right, rather than a whoa giant building falling over. Oh my God, is only gonna kill them? It's just a oh, there's a, there's a building crash. Wallop, kaboom. Yeah. Anyway, um, right, we need to go back. Yes, we do, because I need to hand in this mission as well. Thank you. I'll take that, and I'll take the Makeb reputation, which I still haven't actually reached uh, the highest ranking with. How far am I from that, anyway? They've sort of stopped with the reputation now, haven't they? It's kind of kind of a shame, really. I was enjoying sort of getting the reputation on some planets, because um, as you can see, I got the reputation for all four of these. Um, but I did it for bounty supply. Oh, not Bounty Brokers. No. I'm close to Bounty Brokers, but I just can't be bothered to do the rest. I'm, just, I'm so close. I am so close. Um, um, where's the Makeb one? Makeb one is, is there. I'm a hero. I'm not a champion yet. Damn it. <sighs> right, anyway, let's make our way back. Shalim, we've done it. We've done it. The Ark's fuel rods, as promised. Tomorrow's gone. Along with his entire supply of isotope five, entire felt it. Lambda says the explosion triggered a chain reaction in the planet's core. Joy. If you have unfinished business, better make it quick. I'll take the fuel rods and get our people to work installing them. I left a shielded shuttle here at the camp. It's your ticket off, Makeb. The rest of us are taking the Ark. We're in this together. If there's trouble, you'll need help. I'm sure the Ark can seat a few extra people. The space is tighter than you can imagine. I appreciate the offer, but you've done more than enough for us. I hope we meet again on Keylander Station. Well, we'll see. Right, board of command post shuttle. We need to run before the planet explodes. Oh, I need to go up there, do I? All right. Wait, no, I don't. I need to go over there. I was thinking about the bonus mission, because apparently the bonus mission still wants me to go all the way back into an area which I don't think I can go into. Or maybe I can go into. Yeah, I can go into. Um, and yeah, do that. But apparently shuttle's over here. Uh, yes, but how do I get up? I need to go that way. Run for your life, Strander. Run. The fuel rods are in place. Power levels are at 80%. I hope it's enough. It'll have to be. Lemda says there's a fissure opening directly beneath us. We're launching before the Mesa collapses. Wow, that looks amazing. Like a volcano. Ooh, lovely. Magma. Just in the nick of time, too. Surprise, surprise. Thank goodness you're safe. When our scouts reported the catastrophe on the surface, we feared the worst. When have I ever let down the Republic? There's always a first time. I'm glad it wasn't today. Please meet me in Keylander Station's conference chamber. We have much to discuss. Much to discuss, eh? And this black screen disappears. Uh, report to Zan Threelo. Oh, Zan Threelo. What a joy you are. Um, right. So that's Makeb done. Ooh. All this time, I didn't realize this was here. Atmosphere of Makeb. Have I got this on Kranosoko? I have no idea. Probably. Um, right. Where are we going? Where are we going? They say Makeb is a playground for the wealthy elite. Heiresses, board investors. At last, a civilized world. 
Yes, that we've just ran away from because it was uh, kind of destroying itself. Anyway, hey Xanthrilo. The Supreme Chancellor requested a meeting. Welcome back. I was informed that you survived a terrifying ordeal. You have my deepest admiration. Ah, here they are. Millions of hungry mouths to feed and nothing to show for it. You pledged, Mekeb, to us, Shalem, and you knew it was doomed. We had no idea the planet was that unstable. Our offer was made in good faith. My uncle is a businessman, Chancellor. But in this case, he's telling the truth. You knew the groundquakes were getting worse. You used the Republic, knowing we'd be obligated to help your people even if you had nothing to offer in return. What's done is done. We have a vessel filled with millions of refugees who need food, water, and medical treatment. And a home. My people can't live on that ark forever. They're packed in like cargo. This is a debacle. We came here seeking resources to defeat the Sith Empire. Instead, we're walking away with debts and obligations. What about the Hut leaders? You negotiated a peace agreement with them, didn't you? Uh... As I recall, you wanted to abandon the cartel leaders on Makeb. Cooler heads prevailed. My point is, the Republic did benefit from rescuing us. Only the cartel leaders who needed rescuing agreed to this alliance. Fortunately, they possess most of the wealth and power. They'll neutralize any holdouts. With our new friend's wealth and warships, we've gained a substantial advantage over the Empire. That doesn't address the problem of Makeb's people, however. I need a solution. The Huts destroyed Makeb. It seems only fair they should pay the cost of caring for its refugees. We can hold their warships in reserve and use them to protect vulnerable systems. Meanwhile, the Huts will build a colony for Makeb's people. I had to twist your arm to call the Republic. Glad you finally swallowed that spirit of independence. After everything we've been through, to receive such generosity. Thank you all. The people of Makeb need someone guiding them to their new home. I think you're the right person for that job, Shalem. Thank. I'm not. But you've shown me what a true leader looks like. I'll follow that example. I want to speak with my operative in private. Please excuse us. You've made the best of an unfortunate situation. Well done. The Huts want to be on the winning side of this war. And you've shown them who that is. We have you alone to thank for this alliance. It's wise of you to recognize my importance. The Republic wouldn't be nearly as close to victory if not for you. A fact I intend to rely upon. Joy. For too long, the Republic has wasted time reacting to the enemy. We must fight this war to win by going on the offensive. Savor this victory. Return to the war's front lines and press our advantage. Together, we will be triumphant. Pretty. I love shots like that. Do 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 And into hyperspace they go. And that is the end of Rise of the Hut Cartel for the Republic side. Finally! I've done it! Oh, hello. Who are you? Oh, Shadow of Reverend Prelude. Ooh, right. Um, so, anyway, we'll take the crystals, because that's what I want, and I'll take the reputation. Thank you very much. So that is the end of Rise of the Hut Cartel. Finally done it on the Republic side and the Imperial side. My word! Um, and, yeah, so apparently it's now scaling my level. Okay. Um, so, next time we will begin Shadow of Revan. So that'll be exciting. Uh, I wonder who that face is. I wonder who that is. <laughs> so anyway, thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. And I will see you next time. Any farewell to you.